Learning goal number 29, dilations. Learning goal number 29, we're talking about dilations. So a dilation is an image produced by enlarging or reducing a figure. Think of it this way, if you copy and paste a picture into Word, and then you resize that picture, if you click in the bottom corner of the picture and then you drag it, that's gonna keep it the same shape. So that's a dilation if you enlarge it or shrink it there because it keeps it similar to the previous shape. Okay, dilations have a center and basically here's what's happening. Uh, however far each point is away from the center, if I want to grow it, like say I want to double this triangle in size, I just measure the distance here and then I double it to make my new point. And I double it here and so on. So if I wanted to draw something that was twice the size of it, I measure this distance, and then I go out that far again, and I do that for all the points. Obviously, I'm just eyeing it up here. And theoretically speaking, that triangle would be double, or and it would have a scale factor of two in relation to this one. It's twice the size of it. Uh, and the reverse, if you want to make it smaller, and that would be an enlargement. An enlargement is a bigger dilation, and the scale factor is greater than one. Okay, so in that case, I made the scale factor two. I doubled everything. Let's say I wanna make a smaller triangle. I wanna reduce it or come up with a reduction. Well, I need to have a scale factor between zero and one. So let's do a half. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure this distance and I'm gonna cut it in half. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. Now it have a scale factor of one half. That's a reduction. Scale factor between zero and one. Enlargement, bigger. Scale factor, greater than one. So a dilation is when you are producing another image. It's either an enlargement or a reduction of the previous image. And it's the same shape. Okay, so for this next example here, we have triangle ABC. It's graphed and labeled and the points are listed here. Now, I wanna come up with a new graph that has the scale factor of 3 fourths. You know what, let's change that. I wanna change it so it has a scale factor of 4 thirds. Okay, so if it has a scale factor of 4 thirds, that's a little bit bigger than one, this is gonna be an enlargement. Now, the thing is, when you're doing an enlargement on a coordinate plane, the center is always the origin, zero, zero. But here's what I need to do. I need to take four thirds, and if I want to enlarge by a scale factor of four thirds, I multiply everything by four thirds. So I take three, and I multiply it by four thirds. If you take three times four thirds, you get 12 over three, which is four. Take three times four thirds again, I get four. So this point A, which was three, three, now becomes four, four. That's your A prime. And you can see that that's a little bit further away from the center. It's four thirds the distance. I do the same thing for B. B was six, negative six. If I take six times four thirds, uh, six times four is 24, 24 over three is going to be eight. So that's eight and negative eight. Eight, negative eight would be right here. And that's your B prime. And then finally we have zero, negative three. And I'm going to multiply that by 4 thirds. 0 times 4 thirds, just 0. Negative 3 times 4 thirds, it's going to be negative 4. So 0, negative 4, right there. That's my C prime. Connect all these here. Now, it's not that much larger, but that's larger by a factor, a scale factor of 4 thirds. I took every X and every Y and I multiplied by the scale factor. That's how you do an enlargement or even if it was a reduction, you could do a reduction. But since 4 thirds is greater than 1, I knew that this would be an enlargement. Okay, so for this next one, I have quadrilateral A, B, C, D graphed already. And A prime, B prime, C prime, and D prime graphed already. What I want to do is figure out what the scale factor is. So if you look, A, B, C, D was smaller 
the new figure, the image, is larger. This is clearly an enlargement. So, since it's an enlargement, I should come up with a scale factor greater than 1. If I want to find the scale factor, I need to take some value from the new and divide it by some value from the old. And you could just do that with any point, really. So if I just take this point, negative 3, 0, negative 6, 0. Negative 6 is the x value from the new. Put that on top. Divide it by the x value of the old. Negative 3, negative 6 over negative 3. Positive 2. And if I look at all the other points, you can see that 1, 2 was just multiplied by 2 to get 2, 4. 4, negative 2, 8, negative 4, 0, negative 4, 0, negative 8. So this has a scale factor of 2, and that is an enlargement. And again, I just found that by taking one piece and dividing it by another. New divided by old will be able to help you find the scale factor. Turn down for what?